Uh, wadau. So my name is Collins and we are still here in Mokuru kwa Jenga we are talking about the finance bill uh, and today ni gonna be jangu pia mwingine manzi tumepatana like immediately right now manzi we met in a public participation yeah, yeah 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 it was about the treasury na ningependa uweze kutuambia jina lako before tuendelee na role yako kwa society so uh, santi sana kwa wasikilizaji uh, kwa majina naitwa Habibu Mar mm-hmm. Mimi ni mwanaharakati nafanya kazi na shirika inajiita Karibange Social Justice Center. Mm-hmm. Lakini leo tuko kwa hapa na ukoa uchumi town hall meeting mm-hmm. uh, courtesy of TISA just to be able to discuss issues uh, the proposed uh, finance bill 2023. Mm-hmm. So that is why basically why we are here. Mm-hmm. But for us uh, I'm a public noise makers I make a lot of noise <laughs> noise of value actually because mm-hmm. we have realized that uh, silent skills mm-hmm. so lazima tubonge mm-hmm. lazima tuonge lazima tupase sauti yetu yeah. so that is basically most of the time that we do but mm-hmm. we organize community we educate them mm-hmm. because we believe when the community is organized is educated mm-hmm. and they know their right mm-hmm. they'll be able to stand up and fight and advocate for what is right mm-hmm. and champion for their rights in the society Yeah we met in a public participation that was about the treasury where they wanted to increase the the borrowing levy yeah. from a, from a di, from a digit that is around i think 10 million yeah. to 50, to a debt ceiling of a percentage of yeah. i think 50% of the total gdp yeah and the current government is saying because why they are taxing so much and they are taking a lot of money is to be able to pay the previous debt do you think that this is going to be effective in paying the debt and what do you think about the raising of the of the ceiling from a percentage to a, from a number to a percentage so ile kitu naweza sema basically one mm. uh, taxation kulipo shuru ni kujitegemea mm. but there is what we call progressive and restric- regressive uh, taxation mm. progressive is that you tax with uh, an intention lakini ile regressive ni ya kuweza kuumiza wananchi mm. currently Kenyans are suffering mm. and uh, the conversation is how do we re- reduce the cost of living mm. so the first thing government need to do is to first focus on how do they reduce the cost of living to mwananchi wa kawaida because when we are talking about the proposed finance bill inasema mafuta itatoka from 8% to 16%. Mm. Definitely that is going to have a ripple effect in the cost of mm. basic uh, commodities uh, uh, cost of transport because mm. uh, fuel actually in affect everything. Mm. So bit of what we are saying because right now we are talking about um, uh, uh, raising more revenue. Mm. The problem is not even the revenue. Mm. We need the government need to account to the money that mm. they, are, they are collecting because wakati walingia walitoa subsidy mm-hmm. kwa unga kwa main things kwa kwa nini unaona mm-hmm. where is this money going to mm-hmm. every day they are borrowing money mm-hmm. but now the question is a government that is saying that the focus in terms of how they can be able to revive mm-hmm. the economy mm-hmm. is the same government that has created 50 illegal CS positions mm-hmm. unnecessary positions mm-hmm. you see we have also created zile office of spouse of sijui nini na nini mm-hmm. so such a things mm-hmm. we are locating funds kununua gari mm-hmm. Gary is your president Gary is your ndi uh, David ndi yet is that even a priority right now that is not even the priority and there is corruption mega corruption so easy we are talking about the new corruption about now the 4 billion ile ya ya mosquito net in the health and the new cancer scandal currently kulikuwa na hii ni ya inaitwaje ya hii ya wili kuna NHF pesa ipatikani so Kenyans are asking even now hata nikiongelea NHF you are remitting your your monthly contribution to ward and hf lakini you upati your services mm. so what is the essence of even paying for more taxes but we are not say, seeing even the resources we are not even seeing the development kwani pesa inaenda wapi but they are saying that they held a public participation for the finance bill were you part of the public participation i've never participated in any public participation of the finance bill in mm. fact once we went through that a uh, proposed bill and we identify the key issues that we felt kama common mwananchi tatumiza my because i also have a responsibility for me i know that the responsibility of me as a voter did not end at the ballot box we have a continuous process to hold these leaders accountable mm. so um, equally i holded my uh, member of parliament uh, mm. accountable and to our mp uh, james mwangi gakuya and mm. we ask why don't you call for a meeting invite people let us discuss this uh, finance bill mm-hmm. and identify zile vitu wazutaki because you are there mm-hmm. you know the reason why we go to election is because all of us cannot sit in parliament mm-hmm. that is why we lead we elect one person to represent us mm-hmm. and this person have to be consulting with the people mm-hmm. you are there to represent the views mm-hmm. and the interest of the people mm-hmm. but ukiangalia pale parliament they are championing for their own personal interest mm-hmm. na interest ya mm-hmm. uh, their political leaders which is uh, is not what should happen because mm-hmm. The social contract it be, is between mm-hmm. the mwananchi and not even the president. Mm-hmm. So that is where the problem lies. Mm-hmm. And that is why we are saying Kenyans must rise up because 
if now the parliament is compromised, parliament is now dancing to the tune of the executive, mm -hmm. the same executive that they need to hold accountable because they're the oversight authority, then now you look at Article 1 of the Constitution which uh, states directly that we can exercise this power directly or indirectly through our elected leaders. Mm -hmm. What happens when our elected leaders are failing us? Mm -hmm. What do we do? We reclaim back our power. So we have the power. We'll be going to court. If court fail, mm -hmm. then now we'll be exercising the people's power. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. any taxation, mm -hmm. any recommendation the government m make, it must be uh, progressive and it's a taxation that is geared towards uplifting the life of the common monarchy. Lakini yeah. saizi, we uniongeze taxation saizi as we speak. Mafuta ni 187.83. The moment he bill imepita, ime mafuta itakuwa 200 and something. What does that mean? Mali nikuwa naenda na 50 bob, nitakuwa naenda na 100. Na mimi kama maybe mtu wa biashara, hiyo cost, I will transfer it to mnunuzi. What does that mean? Because right now, ukiangalia the percentage in terms of job creation. Uh, Juakali sector, the private sector, and you create 90% of jobs have been created by the Juakali sector. Government has only provided 10%. Yeah. But now you are killing easy biashara ya ule mwananchi mdogo. Mm -hmm. Ule mamamboga, ule mtu wa boda boda mbao ulikuwa nasema, hii ni serikali ambao ni ya mamamboga, mtu wa boda, mama nini. You see kind of that conversation. Mm -hmm. So those are the conversation, the taxation, we must come, we must tax the rich more. Mm -hmm. Hakuna vile leo wewe utakuwa na an 1 million, mm -hmm. mimi na an 10,000, tukienda kwa duka tunanunua unga the same. Mm -hmm. Is that even fair? Yeah. So also the essence of taxation is to bring a level of equalization, equal equity within the society. Mm -hmm. They must come with affirmative action in that they must focus about the interest of group. Mm -hmm. Vijana, mm -hmm. Wamama, mm -hmm. PWDs, and the marginalized community because mm -hmm. these are the people who are suffering. Mm -hmm. And government has a responsibility to look at the interest of these people. Yeah. That is why we pay taxes, that is why we elect leaders. Yeah. yeah. So we saw that people went to protest uh, the other day uh, in Jivanji and some people were arrested. Yeah? Mm. Did you feel like that was necessary for them to be arrested? You see, um, the right to protest mm. is a right enshrined within Article 37 of the Constitution. Mm. And even in other sign uh, international uh, laws that Kenya is a signatory to. Mm. So we have a right, but now it is very unfortunate that the police are being used to curtail and suppress the voices. Mm. Uh, because... The role of police when we are protesting is just to provide you with security and ensure that those who are protesting are safe and even the properties of maybe those who are not protesting are protected. Mm -hmm. But it is not that Lazi Mwambe police in Rusa. Mm -hmm. But this government, we are being taken to the back days mm -hmm. where uh, mm -hmm. and fight for your right. Mm -hmm. But we are saying Kenyans must now rise up mm -hmm. because if we don't defend the constitution, this constitution will be weak to defend us. Mm. So we must rise up, we must exercise our right, we must protect the right to protest. Mm. Because that is the avenue that we have. Mm. And what these people need to do, because when we are ex uh, exercising that right, mm. we're also evoking Article 1. Mm. The power, the sovereignty power belongs to the people. Mm. So it is about the people. Mm. It is not about the president. Mm. President is not above the law. President has to be able to undertake his responsibility within the presence of the constitution. Mm -hmm. Because wakati ya likuwa na apisho pale, kasarani, mm -hmm. sema, mm -hmm. I will uphold, I will respect, mm -hmm. I will promote mm -hmm. the constitution. So he must act in the spirit, in the true spirit mm -hmm. of the, 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 the constitution 2010. Mm -hmm. So Kenyans must have the right to exercise yoko za kuprotest. Ni haki ya kila mkenya. Mm -hmm. Na mimi na imiza wa Kenya. Mm -hmm. Wa Kenya wakuji wangalia kwamba waku na nguvu. They must realize that they have the power. And it is what they want that must happen. Mm. So we must come out to the street mm. if that is the only way. Because sometimes the language this government understand is the language of the masses. Mm. So how if kama ule mpi ambayo umechagua, mm. like kama wangu ali vote yes, mm. aja to consult, that mm. pains me. But you know, the issue of the MPs is another issue that is of discussion because mm. some MPs say that they are not they are not feeling the democracy because at one point, there is what the people want but there is what the party leader wants. What do you think about that? The social contract. Mm. The social contract it is between the people and the members of parliament. Ukichaguliwa kama mbunge vile nimekuambia kwa sababu sisi wata tuwezi toshia pale kule bunge. That is why we elect one person. Mm. 
kwenda ku serve interest zetu sasa wewe utaenda pale bunge una serve interest ya nani kama hujakuja ku consult hujaniuliza ukuja discuss hii financial bill inasema hivi na hivi ikipitishwa maisha yako itakuwa hivi na hivi you have not consulted with me but now who are you representing whose interest it is the interest of the people and that is why also we need to get it right at the ballot box because within the political parties a political party should be owned by the people it is the people at the center of that political party is the people the interest of the people that is that is why political parties are in place to mobilize resources to mobilize people towards a certain objective or goal kenya kwanza maybe as hata nikisema kenya kwanza for an example or as imio they had a common goal and they were rallying their supporters towards that when you give us an opportunity this is uh, uh, the, the things that we are going to do they had a clear blueprint si tuliambiwa kutakuwa na hasla fund ambayo itahitajiwa kitu yote after hapo akipita na tuambia wewe oh, umeona wapi pesa ya bure is that the government that we want ulisema serikali ni ya mama mboga wewe nikuulizo mama ni mama ni mama mboga kidero ni mama mboga now what are we talking about huh? now unaona hizi 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 broken uh, pledges and promises is what also demoralize Kenyans from even exercising their democratic right wakipiga kura around more than 80 million Kenyans never voted kulikuwa na vote hapa even among the young people so why is this happening but we still have a responsibility lazima to we hold these people accountable how do you think we can hold these people accountable holding these people accountable leo hata ni kuambia i'll give you an example na isim isim sasa hivi ile tuko hapa mtu hawezi iba lakini nikiwacha hapa na hakuna mtu definitely mzee atakuja ku same na leaders au viongozi tukiwachagua we have a responsibility ya ku hold accountable ulisema utafanya hivi responsibility yako na mandate ni hii you see So within the constitution also there are clauses in terms of how do we recall our members of parliament yes that can be done after two years mm. but deep down mm. we have to protest the power belongs to the people mm. Kenyans must exercise mm. and tell the MP boss mm. si tulikuchagua enda ku represent lakini wewe mwanza ku represent issues zako mm. so we are taking back our power mm. if kama uwezi you go home mm. yeah and there are various ways on how we can be able to do this mm. if government is not listening mm. to the interest of the people and what we want mm. then now they'll find that we will find different means mm. because I, i still insist mm. the power belong this sovereignty power mm. belongs to the people mm. kenyans waje realize ni vile wanapatia nga hao viongozi power yako mm. i keep on asking ruto size yako na kura ngapi akienda ku cast wewe una cast ngapi hizi zingine wanapewa na nani mm. si ni sisi and when we go home mm. we let people when yambao anaweza serve interest yetu it is that way mm. unaona okay. yeah. thank you so much for talking to us and uh, what i've taken home today is that the power belongs to the people, to the people. and we are the people and we are yeah, the yeah, people yeah, yeah. thank you so much for talking to us manze nimeshukuru so sana i love the voice because yeah. as young people these are also platform of how do we amplify the conversation mm. so True. continue doing this yeah. and vijana wajitokeze because mimi naambia vijana sisi si viongozi wa kesho mm. ile kesho ambayo tulikuwa tunaambiwa is now so we are leaders of today tomorrow mm. and every day yeah. wakati ni sasa thank, thank you so much sana